Hey, what's up? Jin here from Code and Quick Tips. Today we have the third and last video on how to shoot a bullet in your game. In the last video, um, I showed you a method that is um, very static and that can't be applied to really dynamic situations. And in this video, I will show you the complete contrast. I will show you a method that is extremely dynamic and that can be applied to any kind of dynamic object handling in your project. And because we need a really dynamic um, handling of our bullets or of our objects, we will need a dynamic data structure to hold the bullets. And this dynamic data structure in Java is called a linked list. If you don't know what a linked list is, it's basically kind of a dynamic array. So it's a list or the yeah, list of objects that can be that can be, can get bigger and smaller. Um, and that gets such big as you need it. So for example, you can add so many objects as you want and you can always remove them again. And with that given, we can easily handle our bullets. And to start off, we will need our actual list that will hold our bullets. To do this, we use a private and linked list. And the linked list will contain bullets. So it will contain bullet objects. And that will that will be our bullets. So with that line of code, if we import the linked list, we actually got a linked list, so a dynamic list um, with our bullets in it. As the next step, we will need to init that list so that we can use it later on in our yeah, in our game. To do that, we will just go into the init method and write bullets equals new linked list. Uh, linked list and the list contains bullets so bullet and a new list with bullets in it so with that line of code we created a new empty list that holds no bullets right now so as before we will need to render and update all bullets and therefore I will show you two different methods to iterate through our bullets list because in the update method we will need something special later on and therefore we will need um, another method to iterate through our list. So the first easy method for just a simple render call is and for iteration. So for each bullet be out of our bullets. So what does that line of code? It basically says we will take every single um, object that saved in our list and we will call um, every single bullet with the name B out of that list. So if I call this for loop we will basically get every single um, element in the list and then we can handle with it in our for loop so B dot render in my case. There we go. Um, the same thing could be done in the update method, but we have a little problem here. We also want to remove bullets while um, iterating through them. And to achieve that, we need um, a thing called an iterator. So we can't use that nice and tiny, um, that nice clear syntax. We must use iterators. So I really would recommend you to be a bit familiar with things like lists because that's very important in any programming language. So I won't go into details here, but basically an iterator is a thing that can um, yeah, walk through, an, um, through a list, so it can go from element to element and cause that element. So if I um, do that here, we will need an iterator which is a bullet iterator, I will call it i, equals and send our bullet list dot, um, where is it, dot iterator. That will give us the first, um, the first iterator, uh, there we go, we must import that. And now we got basically, yeah, and Kind of, kind of in pointer on the first object, and that um, that pointer can now um, go from one to the next object through the list. To do that, we can do a quite simple while loop. So, so we basically um, 
say while our iterator i has um, a next object after him so if there is a further object after, after the object that we are currently we will um, go further and then we can handle our iterator and can say i dot um, give me a second so if our iterator has an um, object after it we say i dot next and that method will give us a bullet back so we can say bullet b equals so with that basic setup we can travel or we can go through all bullets in our array or in our list yeah, in our linked list and then we can call the b dot update um, this will have a big advantage over set um, yeah, over set syntax but we will see that later on. So right now if we start, uh, give me a second, so main, there we go. If we start, um, we will see a uh, black window because we um, don't have spawned any new bullets. We will change that now, so if um, gc.getInput.is key pressed, input dot key um, key space. So we will um, again take the space bar for shooting and then we will just add a new bullet to our bullet list. That's how simple it is. We don't need to um, take care of any things like um, a maximum amount of bullets or a delta time or um, and time until the player can shoot again because our list can actually contain as much bullets as we want. So we say bullets dot add new bullet and now we take the bullet constructor so two vectors new vector 2f for where it spawns so let's say from 100 100 as in spawn point and new vector 2f as a speed that our bullet will have so I will give it 300 to yeah, 50 or something, so that doesn't really matter. And now just import the vector, and there we go. That's how simple it is to add bullets to our list. So if I take a look at that, it just works fine. I can shoot as fast as I can hit the spacebar, but we now also need to remove the bullets again, as you may have noticed already, and here comes that way of writing it. So here we can say, if our bullet um, is inactive, we can say that if b dot is active, if it's active, we just want to update it, no question. And in all other cases, we want to remove it. And here comes the trick: um, if we would try to remove um, the element in set syntax, it will give us an error because you can't delete things while iterating through an list in set syntax and therefore we can go here and say i dot remove and set method will work and will remove the um right um yes the right bullet and therefore we will need set iterator way of writing thing and if we start it now we can still shoot and our bullets will be removed from the list I can demonstrate this by system out print line. We just print out the bullets dot size, set the size or how many elements are in the array. And if we start it, it will get more and more and it will go back to zero. Without that line, we would stack up unlimited bullets and that would crash our performance after a while. With that way of handling multiple objects, you can also handle other things like bullets. For example, if you have multiple enemies, you can handle them in a linked list. If you have multiple, I don't know, anything that you don't know how often you will need in your game, you can actually use a thing like a list. Yes, that's it for that video. I really hope you enjoyed and I would love to see some comments about other topics. I personally thought about making 
some sort of multiplayer tutorial um, next because I think that's a point where a lot of you are interested in but I won't make such complicated multiplayer things I will make if I can get a really easy library which I think I found uh, then I will make a really easy multiplayer tutorial yeah, and that's it for this video. Uh